Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be installing this power power strip for my Overland camper. It has a volt DC voltmeter for battery health and a cigarette lighter socket and two sockets for charging cell phones or USB, anything USB. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing wired up and then we'll go ahead and mount it up and install it. I'll show you how it works. Okay, so in the package, which here's the part number, comes with some crimp-on connectors and also has some of these locking nuts for the backside. Once we drill out the holes and mount, mount the unit to the uh, camper, we're going to go ahead and start the wiring process and I'm just going to crimp all these connectors onto the back of these terminals. And each one you have a positive and a negative side. Okay, so I just wired it up like this, pigtailed it back, and all of them for positive and negative, and then the orange wire is going to be positive, and the yellow wire is going to be negative. Pretty simple, 12-volt uh, design for a 12-volt battery. And uh, we'll just go ahead and use an inch and a quarter hole saw. I'll pull all this back off. I just wanted to put this together so you guys can see. And I'll pull all this back off, and then we'll go and trace the holes and mark our holes and cut everything up and go ahead and install it. Okay guys, so here I have the piece that I want to install. It's gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna take a level here and just level it out. And I think I like that area right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up. And now we have our three holes for the face plate. We'll go ahead and find center. I never lies. And I'll go ahead and drill those out right now. For this one, I wanted to put the voltmeter in the middle, like so. I wanted to put the cigarette lighter on the outside, that way I can run, run my light. And then I wanted to put the USB power supply here, that way I can charge my phones and set them up on this ledge here. But uh, I'll be happy with that. And I'm just going to make sure this is level again. Right there. Oversizing the holes made it, gave us a little bit of wiggle room. But right there is where I want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and install my screw. And we'll just do all four of these by hand. No rush. No reason to get into a rush here. So there it is, pretty simple design. And I'll just go ahead and run the nuts on the back side to lock these down. Pretty simple. And they don't need to be super tight, just just enough to just enough to hand tight is probably good enough. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and wire this in. Right. So there's our jumpers. And here is gonna be negative. Okay, so we have them all wired in. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the battery and test out the units. So it looks like my battery is at 12.2 volts, which is excellent. We'll go ahead and plug in one of my lights. So here I have a spotlight that uses a cigarette lighter. We'll just go ahead and test that right now. And there you go. So as you can see, we're pulling 11 volts. So the battery is definitely uh, starting to drain, but uh, at least the light works. Okay, so here I have my gimbal. We're just gonna go ahead and plug it into the five volt USB charging socket. And when I go ahead and plug my gimbal in right now, we should see it start to flash here saying it's charging. So we'll go ahead and check both ports. There it is. And it, that's pretty cool, a little blue light came on. And that's on the two amp socket. And it is charging. Really happy about that. We have 12 volts on the battery. Move it over to the next one. And we're on the one amp side. And it is charging. So our power source here is working well. We have it all wired in and that's gonna conclude this video guys. Hey, if you like this video, check out some other videos that may be helpful to you and consider subscribing. Helps out the channel and uh, have a nice day. Take it easy.